Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you my November TBR. So I, I have an ambitious TBR to be honest like I do every single month but I'm just going to be showing you the physical books I want to read um, from my TBR because if I showed you every single book I want to read this month I know it's impossible but we'd be here forever because there's like 70 books on my TBR. I know, but that's with like the Kindle. So I thought, you know, I'll just show my physical books because those are my like main priority that I like, really want to get to. So let's just get right into the video. So the first book I really want to get to is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This I have been wanting to read since I think it was like summer. I wanted to read this for a very long time, let's just say that. And I just never got round to it. And I think it's about time. So, uh, and it's very short. So I don't know why I haven't picked it up. And I enjoyed people who met on vacation i'm pretty sure i rated that five stars and beach read i struggled with a little bit but i i liked it i can't remember what i rated it but I, it was probably like three or four stars so it's not like i haven't enjoy, like enjoyed one of um emily henry's books before but you know i think it's because the last uh, book i read from emily henry i actually didn't enjoy um as much which was beach read i think i like I said three or four stars so that might put me off a bit this is her newest release so i really want to get to it and i've had mixed feelings about this book like i've had some people say that it's like great and i've had some people say it was not the best like they enjoyed it less than beach reading people on vacation so we'll see the next book i want to get to is love on the brain by ali hazelwood this i have had on my tv for the past is it two months i know i had it on my tbr last month but i want to do a reading vlog of um this book so i need to get to it i the only reason why i didn't read it in october is because i was wanting to read spooky um books but also because i went away for a week so i had like a week less of reading that's the only reason no reason but i am really looking forward to reading this and i really do need to get to it the next one i want to get to is the american room hate experiment so i enjoyed the spanish love deception i gave that five stars and i'm pretty sure i read it yeah i think it was the beginning of this year uh and i mean this is from the same author and i'm pretty sure this is something to do with where they like obviously become roommates for some reason and it all happens from there but rosie is um lena or kathleen is from the Smash Love Deception's best friend. So you do see Rosie in the Smash Love Deception and we finally get her story. So yeah, I did take this away with me and it got a bit damaged. Uh, so I'm very upset about that, but it's fine. <laughs> First book I want to read is Where the Core Dead Sing. So I want to do a video of where I read the book and then I watch the movie, which I am going to start filming in a minute. Like after I do this, I'm gonna do the intro. So I'm very excited, but I have heard so many good things about this and so I just want to get to it and I've been meaning to read this for a very long time I think it was like before summer so uh and the movie came out a couple of months ago and I really really want to get to it so it's time I know I'm gonna do this because I'm literally starting it in a minute but yeah I'm very very excited next one I want to read is a funny you should ask this has been on my tbr I think for another two another two months for the past two months and i really want to get to it i've heard so many good things about it i love the cover i mean this is it's beautiful it's stunning we we love a beautiful cover um the colors are just great and considering i'm not a big fan of pink which you know um it's surprising but i do, I do love this cover and if i could exp um display it if i could display it i would so yeah i can't wait to read this the next one i want to read is how to call your family this <laughs> now the title always scares me a bit but i did hear some people say that it was a, an enjoyable read so that's why i bought it so i really want to pick this up now i wanted to read this in october and this has also been on my tbr for months but i wanted to read this in october specifically but i never got around to it fortunately for reasons i've already explained so yeah i want to get to it this month and that noise that this book just made then was awful oh so yeah i'm going to hopefully get to this the next book I want to read is Red, White and Royal Blue. Now this, I have been wanting to read it for a very long time. Now if you've been with me for a while. Uh, yes, I have had this on my TBR since last year. Yes, you had me last year. So I, I really need to get to this. 
and it's about time. I was actually thinking about starting it like sometime this week to make sure I actually like read it. So we might be doing that. We'll see. The next book I want to get to is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So this I have also been meaning to read for a very long time. I actually started it and actually got up to page six. But and I actually did start a reading vlog for it. Um like, all I did was the intro. But I just didn't pick it back up and there was no reason for it. I, I, I basically right, I started the book, I got to page six. And I had to go and do something. I put it down. I just never picked it back up. So I do really want to get to this. And I'm going to also make this another priority. For this. Well, I already have technically. But I have been wanting to read this for a very long time. Because I've heard so many people say that it's really good. And they've always recommended the audiobook. So that's what I'm planning on uh, listening to. And I think I'm just going to restart the reading blog. All I did was the intro. So I'm just going to restart the intro. And just start fresh. You know. And so I'm going to. I'm going to do that. So I expect that sometime this month. And I've promised you guys that, so I've got to do it now. <laughs> the next book is The Song of Achilles. Again, I've been meaning to read this since last year. I mean, why haven't I read this yet? I've heard so many people say so many good things about it. I've heard some people say that they've cried at this book. I need to read it. And I'm also going to be doing a reading vlog on this. So also keep a lookout for that this month. And again, I've promised you that, so I have to read it now. Um, but... Yeah, there's no reason for why I haven't read it. I just haven't picked it up because I have heard a wonderful things about it. I think I was going to pick it up uh, sometime at the beginning of the year, but then I just started hearing loads of bad reviews and it kind of put me off. But I want to listen to the good reviews. So we're going to read it. The next book is After. I've been promising you guys a reading vlog for this for a very long time. But the thing is, is I've reread this twice and this is my third reread that I'm doing. And it's not as fun as the first two times and I think it's because I already know what happens I just want to read loads of new things and I'm just I, I'm not fancying a reread I started rereading this when I was in my reading slump you will be getting that reading vlog soon I don't know when but it will hopefully be soon uh, I'm not far into it though 137 pages I decided to start listening to the audiobook so hopefully that will help me get through it a bit so yeah you will be getting a reading vlog I'm just not very sure when <laughs> The next book is The Anti-Boyfriend by Penny of the Ward. This was on my TBR a couple, like, for a couple of months as well. Now this, I am reading it every now and then. I am really enjoying it. Like, I think it's probably already be a five star for me. But it's taken me a while because I'm annotating it. And it, I, I'm i using this book as kind of those where I just pick it up every now and then kind of books does anyone else have one of those books i don't know uh but i do want to just get it over with now if that makes sense like not because i'm not enjoying it i'm loving it but i've been reading it for months now so i just want like when i have those books where i read it every now and then eventually i'm kind of just like, i want to finish it now and i just end up sitting down for hours and finishing it so i think that's my plan with this but yeah it's taken me a while because i'm annotating that to be honest i probably would have finished it ages ago otherwise annotations for me take a very long time so that is why i don't annotate often but if i am or if i do it takes me a while uh but yeah that's the only reason for this the next book is ghosted i have also been wanting to read this for a couple of months now um because i've heard some good things about it i've heard people say good but i don't actually physically know what it's about to be completely honest with you so yeah i'm going to go into this as a mystery um but what's putting me off with this kind of is the fact that the writing is very small but we, we're, we're gonna read this the next two books i want to read uh now i want to start the series and that is the mortal instrument so i want to read uh one no one and two so i'm hoping to get to these i've heard um so many good things about this so i need to finally get to them i brought the whole series months ago actually was it sometime last year could have been sometime last year and yeah so i'm I really want to get to this and then the last book is remember me i wanted to read this in october never did but i am hoping to read it this month instead so we'll see so yes that is all of the books i would pick them up but there is a huge pile there's all the books I want to read this month. Uh, actually, should I try and pick them up? Is that going to be a disaster? I'm going to try. Oh. <laughs> this was a bad idea. 
Um, it doesn't help the two, the bottom two books are not. Okay, I don't think this is possible. We oh, these are all the books. <laughs> They're not all the books. Um, I'm just not gonna try. But yeah, those are all the books. How many books are there? Fifteen books. Do we think we can do it? Let me know. Comment down below. Do you think I can do all these books? We'll see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want, it's free. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye. Okay, so now I've got to try and do this one now. Do I show all the books? Do I do a different angle? Yeah, this is not going to work. Nope. Oh, no. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um... I don't know how I'm going to do them now.